Well, they're the Australian nurses who showed us what life was like inside an Italian hospital at the centre of a virus outbreak. They were there to save lives while putting their own at risk. Well, after almost two months, they are finally home safe and sound. And we were there when they were reunited with their family. Hey! <laughs> we're just going to step outside. First time in six weeks, really. This is the moment Liz Perry and Kathy Styles end 14 days of quarantine. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Fresh air. Fresh air. It came after spending a month working night shift in a tent hospital outside Italy's Cremona Hospital. All up six weeks of barely seeing the sun. Sunlight. Sunlight. Oh. 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 It hurts. <laughs> Kathy and Liz documented their work in Italy for a current affair viewers capturing the struggles of working in the epicentre of a global pandemic. The patients are very, very sick. We are very fatigued, it's cold, uh, but the care that we're able to give these people um, is a real privilege. And they recorded more video diaries for us of their time in quarantine in Sydney's Darling Harbour. Hi there, just showing you the inside of the room that I have been staying in for the past nearly 14 days. Whoever was in charge of room allocation may have heard about their selfless volunteer work on the other side of the world. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I have absolutely no complaints. They used the time to reflect on the work they did in Italy, trying to save COVID-19 patients fighting for life in an ICU ward. We're stuck inside but in a way it's been a blessing because it's given us a little bit of time to get some sleep, um, get our heads clear. It's been a blessing and a curse as well I guess but it's almost over. And within hours of stepping out into the fresh air again they were on a plane to Brisbane to see their families. Kathy's husband Gary and Liz's mum Sandy were there after six long weeks of hoping they'd get them back in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Liz's embrace with her mum soon drawing tears as the emotion of her journey hits home. Then Kathy arrives. All those only. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy and Gary have seven children and eight grandchildren. And this reunion will no doubt go down as another treasured family moment. Kathy had told us from Italy how much she was missing hugs to help her through the daily trauma. We can't hug. We can't even hug each other, even outside of our workplace. If it, like I had a patient die the other night and I was very upset. I had to come up, get myself together and just hop on the bus and you can't hug. You were telling me how much you were missing a hug. How does it feel to get that hug again? That's the first hug that I've had. I had one illegal hug with a work colleague while I was there because we were really having a tough day, but otherwise that's the first hug I've had in over six weeks. A hand on Gary's arm making up for an yeah. inability to touch it's anyone, right. especially her patients, without layers of gloves and masks for protection. I'm elated to be home. I'm really happy to be home. It's been a really, really tough nearly six weeks. Would you have been able to get through it without this this fella beside you? No, he's <laughs> been my absolute rock. I'm just so over the moon, elated, happy, emotional. How do you feel seeing Liz again? I'm oh, pretty amazed. <laughs> it's been so long and um, I was a bit on edge about her being over there with all the viruses everywhere. When you're reflecting, what do you think about the work you did in Italy? Yeah, um, yeah I definitely um, have a a lot of emotion that kind of comes up when I think back to how much the Italians have suffered and um, and what what they've been through. The women volunteered in Italy with Christian aid agency Samaritan's Purse, which has now packed up its tent hospital as Cremona can once again cope with a reducing number of COVID-19 patients. I don't want to see our country overwhelmed 
like Italy was and we will get a second wave but how big that wave is and how overwhelming that wave becomes is very much dependent on how much Australians continue on to do the fantastic job they've been doing over the last two months. My message is you guys have done really well and I'm so proud of Australia and we're a lucky country and I'm so grateful for our country and, and the effort that everyone's put in. Good to have them back. And we should point out that both uh, Kathy and Gary and Liz and Sandy share a household, so they are allowed to breach social distancing measures and I don't think many people would begrudge them those hugs.